Welcome or welcome back to Tarot and Chill. My name's Nisha and this is a bigger card reading to find out how to get the outcome you want. I've got four groups for you to choose from today. Group one is the Ace of Swords card. Group two is the Queen of Pentacles. Group three is the Two of Cups. And group four is the Seven of Cups. Please pause the video now if you need to take a moment to make your choice, otherwise I'll see you in your reading. All the timestamps will be below. You can also find details of my personal readings if you're interested. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in your reading. This reading is for you if you chose the Ace of Swords. Let's see what cards you have. From the astrology reading cards you have the second house, your assets, finances, and the things that you value. From the Secret Language of Animals Oracle, you have Giant Panda, Innocence, Gentleness, Harmony, Balance. And Wild Horse, Freedom, Sensitivity, Spirit, Partnership. From the Sacred Spirit Reading Cards, you have Align Your Universe, Navigate Distractions. From the Sacred Destiny Oracle, you have Wonders. And then from the Healing Light Tarot, you have the Devil. The Lovers. The Eight of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. Feels like a lot of work is needed. Like there's some money or finance situation that someone's asking about. And it feels like you might need to, first of all, speak to somebody else, like there may be someone else who you work with, someone else who you're partnered with, someone else who cares about you, who might be able to help you. If you're going through a financial stress where maybe you don't have enough right now, or you don't have... You don't have something to hold on to, I'm hearing, or like someone needs to hold on to something for you. Like for someone, there might be... A a, a question about divorce or something and you might be wondering what to do about your money you might be wanting your partner to not take all your money or something I feel like there may be someone who can hold on to it if you've got like a really bad partner sorry this is not for everyone it's just for somebody I feel like there may be a person who's like your parent or your child or somebody like that who can take care of it and keep it safe for you I'm feeling like someone might be saving for a car and I feel like there may be Again, like someone you can maybe partner with, like I don't know if you have a partner, maybe you're both going to be driving the car so you can share it. I'm also not sure if there's like an old version of the car you want with a need to like get some spare parts and have it taken care of at the mechanic or something like that. There's like a solution where maybe it's like building, building something. Also, if you're like trying to buy your perfect house and you can't find your perfect house, you might want to recreate one that's not very good currently, but make it the way you want it to be. You might save a lot of money doing that as well. It feels like there's a plan to come up with for someone that does involve talking to other people. It's very important for you to bring other people in, but also I feel like it's, it's good for you to just go with what you feel as well, because I feel like there's a lot you can get done in a short amount of time when you just stop waiting for approval or you stop asking or you stop trying to find what to do it's like you just get in the right mind state and you do what you feel like doing and that works out for you better than maybe what you were planning to do i feel like there's an important relationship with someone you might need to impress them slightly and you also might need to demonstrate to them that it's more than sexual i feel like for someone maybe even to yourself you might not be sure if it's more than lust that you're feeling you might be unsure if it's level lust, so I feel like you might need to figure out which it is, or maybe certain moments you... Maybe certain moments you find this relationship toxic and other moments you find it good. You might be wondering how you can make it better, or how you can get free of this relationship. It feels like you need to figure out the parts of it that are toxic and the parts of it that are healthy. There may be something to do with money. I'm feeling like someone may have a partner that's... A partner that's only with them for money and your partner might be quite shallow. 
and I'm feeling like you might be coming with a lot of sweetness towards them. When they're maybe not actually interested in you for the right reasons, you might need to make a decision to want better for yourself. I feel like there's maybe a better partnership that you have available to you, around you. With someone who really loves you, it's like almost a divine partnership where the universe wants it for you and I feel like you can speak to this person instead. I'm getting the impression there is like two people to choose from for somebody. There's somebody you can talk to instead and get things moving with them instead and work on the relationship with them instead and take yourself away from, to be honest, what seems to me is like a lust-based materialistic partnership with someone who doesn't really have any care for you or you don't have any care for them versus someone you have a really sweet relationship with and you actually genuinely have affection for each other. It feels like time to pull yourself away from toxic, negative, unhealthy things so that you can focus on what's better for you, what's more helpful for you. But I also do want to say for someone, I feel like you might want to give in to your lust and your love. You might be trying to fight it. You might be trying to decide about whether you should enjoy this relationship or not. But it does feel like for someone you have a really great sexual connection and it could turn into it could turn into a really good relationship that lasts in your life for a long time and I'm seeing it's going to go quite fast but it's meant to go fast like you're not meant to be afraid of it it's more something to completely allow yourself to be absorbed into to allow yourself to go with to allow yourself to be taken by and to allow it to change your life because I feel like it will change your life Someone you might be wanting a relationship that changes your life. And I feel like you need to respond more to, again, like your arousal and your lust. And your desire to cuddle people or be sweet to people or communicate with people. It feels like you need to send out more communications. Maybe you even need to get on dating sites and try and find some people you find attractive. I'm also wanting to say don't neglect physical attractiveness. Like if you're in a relationship with someone you don't find physically sexy, that's not the person for you. Like the... Those relationships should just be friendships. That's not for you. It's not about being shallow. It's more like there's not really much point of you being anything more than friends if you don't even find them remotely attractive. So make sure you're with someone you actually really like for not just their body, but make sure you do like their face and their body and everything. And make sure that you do like what's under the surface. I also want to say for somebody, you might want to make sure your partner's investing in you as much as you're investing in them. Someone you might want to invest in something, maybe to do with money. There may be some risky venture that you're thinking about investing in. It feels like you can study it a bit more, you can research it a bit more, but maybe there's a small amount of money you don't mind risking if you've got it already. Also, do come for a personal reading if you have money for things like investments, because I can tell you a lot more if you come for a personal than in these general readings. I'm sure you probably noticed by now these are very general. It feels like whatever you want, you need to get it more firmly in your mind, like manifesting it and making sure you're not straying your focus from anything other than the thing. So if it is happiness with your partner, don't allow yourself to think of the relationship problems or anything bad or any other people's partnerships. Just focus on you having a great relationship with your partner. And be aware there may be things you need to change about your universe, things, other things in your environment that you might need to change in order to get the outcome you want. It seems like, it seems like you have actions to take and you have things that's like a work in progress. You, you have work in progress that needs to be finished and you have passion projects or something that you're very passionate about, but you don't even need to think about it. It's just like you feel it and you do it. But also there are some things that are very distracting and not very beneficial for you. They may need to be removed. So say if it's like the perfect partner, you will probably need to stop getting distracted by every two out of 10 or four out of 10 if you've got a 10. Just try and avoid looking at everyone else if you're really that into your partner. And if you're not that into your partner, you might find that maybe they're not the right person. It might be a reason you keep getting distracted from them. It might be because they're not the one. So I would say try and make sure your your outcome that you want is in line with your life right now. For someone, I feel like you may not know what you want, actually. Like, you may be torn between going on loads of one-night stands or having a partner for life. So I'd say, again, make sure you know what you want, because otherwise you're going to be going in two different directions. 
and not really focusing in one area at once. I also want to say there is a big project that someone's doing. It feels like it can get a lot of money for you and it can also create a lot of comfort, but it's something you need to do independently and it's something... I'm feeling spirits with you, like the universe is with you, but there's lots of people and other things you could do on a day day to day basis that's distracting. It's like really, really loads of distractions that are trying to take you away from what you should be focused on. And I'm feeling like you need to get back into a good emotion, a good frequency, a good mind state where you're feeling like focusing on, again, focusing on the thing you actually want and not getting distracted by things you don't want. It seems like there's far to go, but you can go very quickly when you get excited. You can find really great progress is made. Like, for example, again, with a relationship forming, sometimes it might seem like, oh, that's going to take ages for me to, like, bond with someone and get to know someone. But actually, I feel like it won't when it's the right relationship because you'll be talking all day and you'll just naturally want to talk all day. You naturally want to talk about the right things. I feel like you just naturally spend so much time together that you're in a relationship. You don't have to think about, like, how can I make friends or how can I find someone? It's like they'll come when they're meant to come, when you're on the right path that you're meant to be on. And I feel like that's pretty much what I have to say. But do, if you have a personal question that's not been answered, if you have something very specific, like a very specific outcome you want, especially if you do have money, please do come for a personal because I can tell you a lot more. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say there's something coming through about exercise. Like somebody might have some body goals and they don't really like their physique and their shape right now. They just want to feel better about themselves. I feel like there's some exercise that you can do quite quickly. It's like going for a quick run. And then maybe just like cooking meal prep, like making sure you've prepared three meals for the day before you even get up in the morning or something like that is coming through that will make it easier for you. I also feel like there's some maybe herbal medicine that helps your head that you can take and maybe, yeah, some sort of herbal medicine that helps your head. It could be like chamomile tea or mint tea or something. Someone, it could be cannabis and it could really help you. Interesting, that's an interesting message. But I also feel like someone may have like a drink problem or a drug problem. So if that's you, please try not to take on anything that could be addictive, even like caffeine or chamomile tea or anything like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonated for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And do get in touch if you'd like a personal reading. I feel like someone really needs one. And also there's other content on my channel if you'd like to watch that as well. You can find lots of other videos if you're new here. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what cards you have. From the astrology reading cards you have Jupiter. Your confidence, courage, self-belief and luck. From the Secret Language of Animals Oracle, you have Eagle. Vision, freedom, authority, inspiration. From the Sacred Spirit reading cards, you have Ascended Masters. Create open communication. And spiritual evolution, set your heart free. Then from the Sacred Destiny Oracle, you have Patience. And from the Healing Light Tower, you have the King of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. There's a need for you to wait, and I feel like this is just one of those things where there's no rush, like there's no ability to rush it. There's no ability to make things happen quicker than you want, or maybe even to influence the situation in a way you want right now that much. But I am saying you have to be brave and you have to be confident and you have to feel a bit lucky. Actually, it's good if you do feel lucky and it's good if you speak to people and ask for help. Actually, I'm seeing there may be a particular person you can ask for help. If it's not a specific person, if there's nobody to ask, you might want to pray. You might want to start manifesting. You might want to ask yourself, like have a conversation with yourself, even journaling. Right, hello, what can we do to solve this problem? What can I do to solve this problem? Like you to you, me and me, let's have a conversation together kind of thing. Even um, maybe you have a really good friend who's just really good at replying to you with the right kind of guidance or just making you feel better, giving you a little lift and saying, yeah, go for it. Like that's a good job to apply for. Go and apply for that job or yeah, say that message to that person. But I do feel like you might want to pause right now 
and maybe not do so much towards trying to get anything from this situation or do anything. It feels like there is some passion you're feeling that can be acted on. But also I feel like you may be pausing yourself, like if you listen to your intuition, if you listen to your body and what you want, you might find that certain times you're itching to move forwards and you want to do something and you're really passionate and then other moments you just want to sit still. I feel like it's really important to listen to those moments of sit still and do nothing because there's probably something that will whisper to you from your subconscious, from your intuition, or something that will come in your reality that's helpful for you. I feel like if you do try and do too much when it's not the right time, you can end up doing something that makes the outcome not what you want. So right now it's more about sitting and watching and keeping your eye out for solutions and trying to put something in the air like talking to people or asking or praying on it or planning or trying to find find something that you're looking for without seeking too hard. It's kind of like pause and it will come to you. I feel like you also might just find yourself guided somewhere if you do listen to your intuition. Say, for example, if you're looking for a job, it's the sort of thing where you just like get up and you go out. You walk past the shop and it says help needed, like cash in hand, daily pay or something like that. And it's like, right, I should do that today. It feels like there's something that will highlight itself to you. That's very important. I do feel like for someone you might have a, a money problem or a savings problem or a savings goal. Something like that, and it feels like there is help to be found. But you might have to ask, and it may be from a charity, it may not be from a friend, or a family member or something. It could be, it could be, but it also could be from an organisation, like maybe it's going to the food bank, or signing up for some benefits or something like that, or maybe just finding someone who gives you something that's really helpful. Like for someone, you might have to ask somebody, like, sorry, excuse me, can I have some money? Or can I have some food or something like that I'm really sorry or can I borrow your phone even it's like there's maybe quite a serious material problem for someone and it does feel like there's there's a way to get it solved the way you want it to be solved but it might not be up to you completely it might be up to someone else who helps you and comes in and decides to want to help you I feel like you may have to be very honest with someone but you might not be ready to right now you might have to find some common ground with someone you're speaking to as well. I'm not sure if it's easy for you to do that or not easy, but you might need to look at the situation and pause and try and not speak to someone until you can find common ground. And I feel like there is common ground. There's something that you and someone else have in common. It feels like there's a relationship question and someone wants to keep their relationship nice and nurture their relationship. And it feels like you have to stay around for your partner you have to stay there keep your eye on them and make sure they're okay and try and be there for them through sickness and in health because they might have something going on that's not very happy for them right now they might be struggling they might not want to open up to you about it so you might have to just keep your eye on them and try and figure it out yourself i know that's really annoying but it's like they don't want to tell you because they're a bit worried and you might not want to tell them that you're worried about them or tell them that you feel stressed or tell them your annoyances right now. You might want to just like stand by them and be there for them and try and look out for them. I also feel like you might want to be slightly delusional right now. Not like properly delusional, but you might want to ignore certain things that upset you. And just focus on the things that are more happy for you to focus on. And obviously don't neglect like... Ne necessary needed things like if you have a bill to pay don't ignore that don't ignore you've got a really serious pain in your body and you need to go hospital or something like that but do ignore things like maybe your ex hasn't messaged you for ages or that person you fancy didn't get back in touch or your friends in a bit of a bad mood just ignore all of that and focus on the more important stuff because it feels like you have really amazing things that you do it feels like you can lead and you can Create a lot for yourself, but also, like, you might need some help of some people. But it feels like people are not available to help you necessarily right now. You may just need to keep your eye on the situation and do some things on your own that are maybe a bit challenging. You may need to challenge yourself or break free from restrictions you have on yourself, I'm hearing. And I do feel like just asking for help is major, but you might not feel ready. You might feel like there's more you can do on your own before you ask for help. I feel like that's maybe important because someone who wants to help you might need to see that you're doing something 
for yourself before they want to help you. Anyway, I feel like things are going to go well for you anyway, but you might not see that right now and you might have to have a break from trying to force yourself to come up with solutions to just enjoy yourself and play and pray and manifest. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you have more questions, please do feel free to come for a personal. The information will be linked below. I feel like you guys might not have much money right now, so please do not come if you don't have enough. Try and save it for whatever you need. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And check out the other content on my channel if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the Two of Cups. Let's see what cards you have. From the astrology reading cards, you have Gemini. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. From the Secret Language of Animals Oracle, you have Blue Whale, Unity, Resonance, Magnificence, Mastery. From the Sacred Spirit Reading Cards, you have Galactic Healer, Move Forward with an Open Mind. From the Sacred Destiny Oracle, you have New Beginnings. And from the Healing Light Tower, you have the Sun. The Three of Wands. The Six of Swords. And the Page of Cups. There's a lot going on with your friendship circle, I want to say, and it feels like there's some relationship question for somebody, or maybe for most of you watching. I'm not sure if it's friendship or romance, but it doesn't really matter. I just feel like there maybe needs to be a plan to meet up with people or a plan to talk to somebody, a plan to arrange something, and it could be for the future. It doesn't have to be really soon, but it feels like it might be good to maybe invite somebody somewhere, even if it's for six months away. It just feels like it's really important. There may be a holiday or a, a faraway place to go and visit, and maybe you can make plans to to go somewhere or to take someone somewhere or to go visit somebody somewhere. I feel like there may have already been an offer for you, and you may have like time off where you can go and see people and I feel like just re-engage with people on a romantic or emotional level or speak to people like try and make new friends or go on dates or something like that. It feels like there is a need to communicate with people anyway and form new relationships and focus on relationships for the future and what's good for you and what's bad for you because it feels like someone you may have been having a lot of fun. Maybe you've been in an open relationship or a a relationship with more than two people, maybe even more than three people, maybe you're seeing lots of people. And maybe you have a feeling like you would want to continue with some people, but not some people, and it feels like maybe for you, you need to talk more to them, especially if you've been doing um, like sexual relationships with people and you don't really speak to them. It feels like time to have communication with them more on an intellectual level or on an emotional level to see whether they connect with you or not really like to see if you even have any compatibility because I feel like you may feel a bit lost somebody you may feel like you've wasted time or like you've moved past something or like your ship sailed or like you missed missed out on a relationship you were meant to be in you may have been waiting ages for a relationship and find that the right one just doesn't come or find that maybe everyone you meet is already in a relationship or they just want to have fun I just want to fool around and I feel like for you maybe you want to just talk to people and not really look for a relationship so urgently because it feels like one will form on its own but it will take a lot of talking and it will take a lot of time and it may be that you need to just allow yourself to come out more and allow yourself to be open-minded about people allow yourself to just have fun getting to know them and don't see it as you have to get in a relationship with them where it has to be serious well, you have to like them, or you have to love them, or you have to sleep with them. Or anything, you could just have five minute conversation with them. And then think, actually, this is not really good for me. I don't really like it. I don't really feel like this person's a vibe for me. And move on and talk to someone else. It feels like not a big deal. Like, don't get too attached to people. When you start talking to them, I want to say, allow love to develop gently. Allow feelings to develop gently. Even if that does take like three to six months, don't be in a rush. Feel the process of getting to know people is more enjoyable. 
and not necessarily like the actual serious relationship as more enjoyable than the courting stage because it feels like someone wants to get carried away with their feelings and it's not like a problem it may be really fun for you if it's fun I feel like you should go with it and allow yourself to get taken like don't be afraid with getting into relationships either it feels good for you to see them as really powerful and having potential like with friendships and romance and even with your colleagues allow yourself to go out it feels like it's good to say yes and don't worry necessarily if the person's even compatible with you just have fun with it and see what kind of conversations you have and allow yourself to heal others because it might be that you don't really feel like you need to know someone but they need to know you and they need your light work it may even be like you're meant to help other people get in relationships like maybe you fancy someone but actually they're seeing someone and you're meant to just give them encouragement. Actually, you're meant to be their friend. You're meant to encourage them to choose the right relationship for them or to continue with their partner or to be serious with their partner. Or maybe you like them, but they're not for you. You're just meant to be their healer. And actually, once you've healed them, someone for you comes along. So I would say make sure you are doing what you're meant to be doing. I'm going to make a reading soon about what is your light worker purpose? I made one before, but one of the groups got cut off and I just decided to take it down. It felt like not needed. But I'll do one again or I'll put the other one up again. Because I feel like there's some purpose you have that's very important for you and it's, it's coming through that you're meant to help people. You're meant to speak to a lot of people and you're meant to be there for a lot of people and you're meant to be seen by a lot of people. This could be something which ends up being very powerful for you. It could lead to a great career or it could lead to a great relationship. It feels like you just need to get focused on yourself and your own gifts and maybe other people and what they need and who they are. And I feel like you can get to know people better to know how you're meant to help people. Like people are in your life for a reason and people speak to you for a reason. You're meant to speak to them for a reason. And each time you have to access the reason why why you're talking to that person, why you need to talk to that person. Sometimes it might be fun, sometimes it might be some plan for the future. And sometimes it might be for them and not to do with you at all. It might be just they need some company or they need to feel better today. They just need a lift, they just needed to moan, they just needed some advice. I feel like there are maybe too many too many potential partners for you like you want to say yes but maybe you have too many options and you might need to move on from some so that you can say yes to the right ones it feels like there's someone who meets you in I'm hearing that uh is it Fergie or Black Eyed Peas that meet me halfway right by the borderline I'm hearing that song and I feel like you might want to meet someone where they want to be met like maybe you live in different cities or different countries and you need to go on like a, a holiday somewhere in between or something like that so it's like a neutral area where you can have better I'm hearing like better communication and conversation there may be like certain places where you have bad memories with your partner or with a friend or with yourself you might like to move somewhere new I feel like someone you might want to move maybe you maybe you don't really have any close connections where you are and nothing's keeping you there you need to move with that mentality of like actually finding something new, like finding a new beginning. Or we'll move on with, with the intention of finding a new partner from an old relationship or something like that. Be open to new friendships and don't feel like you need to stay stuck in the past ones. It does feel like it's really important for you to think to the future. And keep looking forwards and try and plan your future the way you want it to be. With the people, the kind of people you want, but for you to know who you want, you're going to have to get to know them and you're going to have to get to know yourself better. So yeah, don't shy away from open communication. Don't shy away from sharing your real feelings. Don't shy away from things going wrong in relationships as well and from having to move on and just take that as a learning process and you'll figure it out, I'm sure. And I feel like there is going to be a really happy outcome to this situation. Whichever way it goes, like it might be happy and then maybe it lasts for three months happy and then maybe you find not as happy for a few months and then something even happier comes along. So do see things as subject to change and they can always be renewed anytime. So don't see this as like the final outcome. See it as a temporary outcome and it's going to be a yes. It's going to be really fun anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a personal, please get in touch. My information's linked below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonates for you. 
Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and check out the other content on my channel if you're interested. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the Seven of Cups. Let's see what cards you have. From the astrology reading cards, you have the Eight House. This transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. And Aquarius. The energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. From the secret language of animals, Oracle, you have fire. Creation, destruction, beginning, expression. From the sacred spirit reading cards, you have shield your energy, look beneath the surface. From the sacred destiny oracle, you have purification. And then from the healing light tarot, you have the seven of wands. Judgment. And the six of pentacles. It feels like there's someone to connect with who is good to commit to. It feels like there might be some arguments right now and there needs to be some kind of overall change and reawakening and maybe a disagreement that needs to be aired before things can change. And I feel like the relationship dynamics for someone who's asking about a relationship specifically or someone who's wanting a relationship even if you're not really sure what you want, because some of you might not really know what outcome you actually want. But yeah, it feels like there needs to be an argument or a disagreement or a battle or a looking at options, maybe exploring exploring your, your options to see what, what they are. And that could be through a dream or that could be through your own imagination. So it may not be good to jeopardize something if you have, if you have say been building a commitment with someone you may not want to actually destroy it by trying to see if there's someone better out there because I feel like you actually might really like the person you're dating already. You might just need to have some arguments and discuss things like money and how much time you spend on certain activities, who has, I mean, like who has the children on which day and who works which hours or who pays for what or who, who is responsible for which thing. I feel like someone's having like a really stressful feeling in their heart and they may be trying to do too much, trying to take on too many problems. And I feel like there needs to be an honest sharing. You might need to share with your partner something like you're stressing and you're trying to handle all this stuff alone. You're having a really hard time and you might need some, you might need some you time. But I also feel like there may be a need to go to friends more and there may be a need to make new friends. Someone might be really alone. Maybe you want new friends and you want a relationship, but right now you might be feeling like being alone. You maybe have a lot of challenges right now. Maybe the people around you are not very good for you. Maybe they're argumentative and stressful. And actually you just want to have fun and be around people who are interesting. You might find that actually your colleagues are better for you than people you were trying to call all the time and be friends with and make time for because maybe the people you're trying to make time for don't have time for you and you end up seeing your colleagues every day at work anyway so you might find you want to just focus on what's in front of you on a day-to-day -day basis try and focus on making the best out of your situation because it feels like there is a lot going for you you have really loads and I feel like you might be focusing on things that are unknown Things that you maybe could have in the future instead of what you actually have that already makes you feel really good. So I feel like try not to try and get new options right now if it's not already something that's on your plate. Feels like it's not worth looking at, it's not worth exploring. And if you do not know something, if you don't know someone well, especially if you've already got a partner or something, it seems like a real foolish thing to try and explore some new options right now. But at the same time, you might want to maybe mentally explore and see if it really does seem that tantalizing but mostly I feel like you probably already got a commitment you might be trying to find new people to add to your list of people when you've already got someone but at the same time I do feel like someone might not have anyone they're really lonely and they want friends and a partner so it's like time for you to maybe focus on yourself solving your own problems and not giving too much energy away 
but also having a change within yourself to try and change your routine so that you actually have more time for people. If that's you and you feel really tired and you don't have energy, you don't have a partner, you don't have friends that much, that much, it feels like you might need to create some. You might need to create some time and energy for them. And right now it might not be the priority, it might just feel like, oh no, I can't reply to this message. Until tomorrow, it feels like good for you to try and reply. Good for you to try and call people, good for you to try and make friends, good for you to try and get out there. Good for you to try and form new connections, but also if you just don't know what to do, it might be good to get some rest and just do what you have to do, like the work that you have to do. And save it for when you have energy or you just feel like it. Because I do see there might be a tendency to gather too many options for you. Or maybe find that it's good in a way, like maybe with friends. If you did want to go to, say, like a, a club or a festival or a party, you have a big list of friends you can call and say, hey, is anyone free? When it comes to certain other matters, like what are you meant to do today for work, might not be that helpful to have like seven different options. It might be better if you know what you're doing already. Same with partners, you might find it's a bit stressful and they all end up not feeling committed to you and you just end up having fun. For someone, that might be the thing to decide, like, are you even wanting a commitment? You hate the sound of it. Actually, do you prefer the idea of just having fun? Because that's something to notice and if your brain gets really excited about the thought of Say just seeing a different person on and off for a month here and there and then a different person. Maybe that's what you're meant to do and you might find that that's something to just try with. I feel like you have a try and fail thing coming through in your reading. Like just try and fail and see what's good for you. When it comes to things that are special for you, like a commitment that's transformed your life, please do try and protect it and I would say try and recreate it and give it new life by talking about things that's things that are going wrong maybe having an argument and telling your partner everything trying to work on things and trying to figure out a new routine and a balance like maybe you guys are really too passionate about your partner and you're finding it hard to like get up in the morning because you stay up late having sex or something like that you might want to find a way to like be strict with yourself and set an alarm and make sure that you're reminding yourselves to go to bed or something like that but anyway i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you so much for watching if you'd like a personal please get in touch my information will be below don't forget to hit the thumbs up button leave me a comment so let me know how it resonated for you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and check out the other content on my channel if you're interested thanks for watching and i hope to see you again soon bye